Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Odegiel, of course, and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 gameplay video commentaries kind of stuff. <laughs> Uh, quite quite a little bit of a kick-ass gameplay here. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy it with the AK-12 with a silencer, a flashlight, because I put the flashlight on by mistake. Was supposed to be a laser sight, obviously. I have the, the underslung rail, I think it's called, uh, where you should have the grenade launcher or the mass. Uh, I have the M26 mass, the normal shotgun mass, but for some reason it isn't actually attached to the gun. I have no clue why. It's very, very strange. And I got the super shorty shotgun with three shots in it uh, instead of my pistol. So it's kind of a, a close quarters, but also medium to long range uh, engagements loadout, so to say. And I thought today we wouldn't talk about anything super important or anything like that. I was just gonna think like, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Lots of sex lady, lots of masturbation. That guy just turned the wrong fucking corner, bro. You got masked, bitch! You got masked! You got masked too, bitch! <laughs> Okay, that, that that's kind of semi-creepy, I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> I have uh, lately kind of discovered that I don't have that many games I'm playing right now. Or like, it, it might sound strange, but, but really like, I used to have so many games. I, I used to have like more games than, than I like had time to play. And I would guess that might be true as well now, but I don't really have one game that I really played the shit out of like I did with Battlefield 3 or like I, I wanted to do with Battlefield 4 simply because Battlefield 4 kind of sucked dick and it still kind of does. Uh, this is uh, not on the CTE test servers, uh, so so this is like normal gameplay, so I guess I got lucky. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing Battlefield 4 a lot more when the CTE test server DLC kind of releases together with the Final Stand DLC. Or is it Lost Stand? Oh god, I can't, I can't never remember if it's Final Stand or Lost Stand. Never mind. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, yeah, maybe you guys know a couple of games that kind of been flowing under, flying under my radar, so to say. I haven't discovered. I'm actually right now sitting and downloading <laughs> LOL, uh, League of Legends, because I want to try it out and actually give it a chance. This time I tried it out for like 30 minutes, uh, like 6 six months ago or maybe a year ago and I was like fuck this shit this sucks <laughs> So I'm gonna give it a proper chance this time, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go come to the same conclusion. No offense though, guys, because if if you like that game, that that it doesn't mean anything that I don't like. It just means that my personal taste isn't the kind of taste that likes lol. That that's my point. And who knows? Fuck, I might enjoy it greatly. That would be awesome, but I don't think so, honestly. Uh, so right now I'm looking forward to a couple of games. I'm looking forward to Fallout 4. I'm looking forward to The Witcher 3. Or is it? Is it? No, it's it's The Witcher Wild hunt anyways. I fucking love CD Projekt, the, the game developers for that, because they're really, really nice to the PC platforms. Uh, and they also even port to get their games to, to consoles, and they do a really good job of it too. Like, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a PC gamer, I like to like make the PC master race jokes and that shit, and like console peasants and that crap, and potato box and, and piss station and that. But like, honestly, we're all gamers, we all fucking deserve good games, we all deserve really good ports. I don't give a shit if your game is made for Xbox in the first place, uh, it's fucking made on a PC. You should be able to goddamn port it and make sure it works on PC if you built it on a PC. It's not like you sit there with your goddamn Xbox controller making an Xbox game. And the same goes for like a game just made for Xbox, it should fucking work on PlayStation 2. So if you wanna sell copies and make people happy, fucking make your game for all the platforms you do nozzles. We all want to play games. We're all gamers. We all want to enjoy good games. I mean, obviously some games might have to look a little bit less good on the consoles than the PC, but, but like, that's not a fucking excuse not to make them for the consoles too, and vice versa. Like, that's just stupid, bruh. That's just stupid. We all, we're all gamers. We all deserve good games. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to Battlefield Hardline. I, I think I'm gonna be disappointed though, but I'm still looking forward to trying it out. I, I have hope that it's gonna be good, but realistically I think it's gonna be pretty shite, to be honest. But uh, who knows, I might be mistaken and it might end up being a really goddamn good game that I'm gonna enjoy and, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm hoping that's that's the case, that's what's gonna happen. And um, what else am I looking forward to? Oh, Far Cry 4, if I haven't mentioned that, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, that's also kind of a game that I'm... Ooh, I'm a little bit unsure about. I mean, the, the Lost Far Cry 4 was a console port, but it was kind of decently ported to PC, and it was a really good game, so it kind of held up. I really hope they don't fuck up Far Cry 4, because... 
yeah, it, at least, as long as it's as fun as Far Cry 3, I'm gonna be goddamn happy, that's that's all I gotta say. But yeah, so basically I'm, I'm wondering what kinds of games are you guys looking forward to, and what kind of games are you guys playing at the moment and are really enjoying? Because basically what, what got me to thinking about this is, is me uh, seeing World of Tanks for the first time, like a real video of it, on the Vex's channel, like six months ago, and I was like, oh shit, that actually looks a lot better than the stupid ad for it I see on all the websites where World of Tanks literally looks like a shit uh, shit for games, basically looks like Farmville or some crap like that on, on, on fucking uh, Facebook, but it's actually a really nice looking, really fun play game to play in reality, so I'm thinking like, maybe there's some games that, that kind of had had some shitty trailers that that you guys still tried and, and really enjoy and and also some games that are going to be released soon that I haven't heard of and you guys would like to recommend so feel free to tell me why you recommend a game and uh, feel free to tell me why you're looking forward to a specific game don't just tell me the game and also what kind of a game it is like if it is an FPS game RTS uh, um I don't know whatever <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.